Luke Thomas in St. Louis, Missouri, next to Daniel Weichel, who takes on Patricio Pitbull Frede for the Bellator featherweight title on Friday at Bellator 138. Daniel, before we get to that fight, real quickly, you live in Germany full-time, is that right? That's right. I live in Frankfurt, Germany, and train at MMA Spirit. Frankfurt's home of the uh, famous book fair, if I'm not mistaken, is that right? Uh, I think so. I'm not so much of a book reader, but uh, yeah. More of an MMA fighter. Okay, I get it. Let me ask you something. UFC is actually going to be in Berlin uh, this weekend. Before, not even that I'm worried about. What is the state of MMA today in Germany? Is it getting a little bit more popular as time goes on? It gets pop more popular, but slowly, just because we have no TV deal right now in Germany. And, uh, yeah, but it's it's growing. But, uh, yeah, as I said, slowly. So if it would be on TV, it would be great. Great to help a grown MMA in Germany. Or me becoming the Bellator champion as well helps. It certainly would help. Let me ask you, if you're an MMA fan, not you, fighter, but just a fan. If a fan wants to watch Bellator, if I want to watch you fight, how do they do that? In Germany, they watch it on the uh, live stream, Russia 2. They can just stream it on the internet. Okay, but is that is that even legal? Yeah, yeah, I think it's legal. <laughs> you think you're not even sure? I don't think I'm really sure that that's legal. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's like the the national TV channel in Russia, so everybody can watch it. Yeah. What about the growth of teams? You're with MMA Spirit. Are, are they getting better? Or, I mean, obviously they've got you to this point, so your team's doing good enough for you. But I mean, generally across the country, are there good teams, and where are they concentrated? Actually, I'm not focusing too much on the other teams, but we have quite a couple of teams in Germany. But yeah, like I said, I, I'm, don't, don't fo I'm not focusing too much on what they are doing. Many many German fighters also come to visit our gym to train with us, and so we exchange a little bit. Also, many German fighters go uh, outside the country to do, prepare for their training camps. Fortunately, I have such a great team that I don't need to go anywhere else but, but Frankfurt. So, Georgie Karkanian was originally tapped to face Pitbull, and it ended up being you because of an injury. Were you a little bit upset that you got passed over the first time? Not really. Um, I knew that I probably going to have to wait after the, um, after the tournament because there was uh, Strauss and uh, Hasbulai was still waiting for a title shot. So, I had in mind that I will have to wait or to take a fight in between, and after current uh, somehow I knew that I'm going to fight for the title. I, I can't tell you why. I just had a feeling that I'm going to fight. So I was patient. I kept training, and now I'm here fighting for the belt. Patricio Freddy has put together an incredible resume in belts. So when you look at him, you do a lot of things well. He does a lot of things well. I'm not saying you're identical fighters, but you're pretty close. But I think most people would say he has a bit of the power edge. Where do you believe you have the edge? I think I have the edge all over. I just feel that I improved as a fighter so much. Uh, whether it's striking, wrestling, on the ground. I just feel I have so much power in the featherweight division. I'm getting stronger, even though I'm having a uh, lower weight. So I just feel perfectly for that fight, perfectly ready. Now, one of the things that used to happen in Bellator when Bjorn Rebney was there with the tournaments, not really there anymore, there's an argument, no one really knows if it's true, that you see the guys like Michael Chan or you see the guys like Pat Curran who did multiple tournaments. Now, Pitbull did too, so that's where the argument falls apart, but that that tournament may be responsible for aging these guys really quickly. Like There was so brutal, so much training and fighting that it kind of ruined them a little bit. What do you feel about that argument? Uh, I could just kind of speak for myself. So for me, it was an awesome experience to fight in the tournament. But so it was very tough. It was uh, cutting weight uh, three times in such a short time. It's a tough thing. So um, I'm just happy I did this experience, and I'm happy where I'm at right now and how everything is going. Daniel Weichel, best luck to you against Patricio Friday. Good luck.